All right, guys. So first we go to Route 53 and I'll create a hosted zone. I will name the hosted zone as my domain name. So let me first go to the hosted zone and then create a hosted zone. And I'll exactly name it as my domain name. This is awsuglk.com. Then create. And after that, I need to replace this AWS name servers in Namecheap. Uh, Namecheap is my domain provider. So I'll go there and I'll add my custom uh, name servers. Let me uh, copy one by one. Last one, like so, and let's save it. All right, then let's go to S3 and create S3 bucket to uh, store our static website. I'll create S3 bucket and I'll name it as awsuglk.com because that's a unique name. And I'll select that region and I'll unblock uh, public access, acknowledge it, and then create the bucket. Here we have it. And then let me upload one of the index.html file. Or oh, before that, let me enable static web hosting. I'll set the index.html to index.html and error document also to index.html and save changes. All right. Then go to permission and I'll add a bucket policy. So I want anyone uh, who is on the internet to read my website. So let's go to bucket policy examples and I'll select uh, this policy, which is read only permission to anonymous user, edit, and then I'll update that bucket policy there. And let me add the bucket name correctly. Yeah, replace that and save changes. All right, so let's go ahead and add a HTML file. So I'll take a terminal and create a, you know, a text file or HTML file rather, and then add a maybe hello world into that HTML file. We are going to replace that later. All right, so I'll select that file. Just want to see if everything works fine. All right, so I'll go again uh, to my S3 static uh, website URL, and here we see, hello world. Great. And now I need to serve this uh, S3 website through CloudFront. So let's go to CloudFront. And I'll go ahead and create a new CloudFront distribution. Let's select that S3 uh, origin. And then, well, I'm going to use OAI, so we can actually disable that public access. So I'm going to create an OAI, Origin Access Identity. So this is basically a CloudFront user, and I will enable it only to access through HTTPS, and the rest I'll keep default and create the distribution. Now I can actually go into my S3 bucket and then um, uh, you know, remove that public access because uh, we are using CloudFront origin access identity. So let goes to permission, and you can see uh, CloudFront automatically appended that uh, OAI bucket policy. So I'll remove the previous one. So I only have OAI and save it. And also I'll go ahead and enable that public bucket access because now we are not letting anyone to access our S3 bucket directly. It always happens through CloudFront. All right. So let's see if I can view the website and I hit enter, but apparently there's access denied error. So let's see. So right now it is, the distribution is still deploying. So let's wait for a while. I'll forward this uh, clip. Well, here, if I add index.html at the end, then it shows up. But 
you know we usually don't want to add that uh, index html so i'll go and edit my uh, distribution and then i'll add the default root object index html so that it will by default uh, directed to index html so uh, let's try that i think we have to wait until the CloudFront distribution is properly deployed. So it's still deploying. So let's try. And here we go. It suddenly works. So I can access it both index with the index HTML as well as without index HTML. Now by default, it will get directed to uh, index HTML. You see, now I'm not adding the index HTML at the end, but still I can see the website. Great. And now it's time to add a SSL certificate to our website. So uh, let's go to ACMO certificate manager and I'm going to create a public SSL certificate or TLS certificate rather. So uh, make sure you are in the USD East one region because if you're adding it to the cloud front, you have to be in the North Virginia region. So let me request a, a certificate for the domain I have, which is awsuglk.com. Make sure this domain you own or whatever the domain that you use, you own it because uh, you have to prove that. Then I will do DNS validation to prove that this domain indeed belongs to me. And I'll go and create that uh, route uh, or the records in Route 53. So when I click that button, now I see that additional C name record there. So let's do a couple of refreshers until uh, the Route 53 verifies. I will send the signal to a, uh, ACG or the certificate manager. And here we go. It's properly sending the uh, signal and the certificate is now issued. So let's refresh CloudFront. And here I see the certificate. So I attached it. And then let's save the changes. Now the certificate is properly added, but I have to add that alternate domain name as well. So I'll at awsuglk.com as alternate domain name. Let's save it. Oh, we'll have to remove that one. Yeah, save that again. So awsuglk is added uh, as our alternate domain name. So let's try to access our website, but it's still not working. Well, there's a good reason because uh, we haven't attached this uh, CloudFront domain to the Route 53 yet. So let's do that. So still again, you know, I can't access it because we haven't yet added it to the uh, Route 53. So let's copy this uh, CloudFront domain. And I'll go to Route, Route 53 and I'll create a, another record. This is an A record with the liars type. I'll choose CloudFront and select my CloudFront distribution. You can see it's uh, indeed the same CloudFront distribution as it is. You can see that, you know, domain name is exactly the same create the record all right so it is created uh, so let's try again well it takes some time for DNS propagation I think up to 48 hours but it won't take much you see now I started seeing the data or the website let me access this properly with HTTPS now I see my website you can see the certificate is valid and all great so now Let's go to S3 and I'll upload uh, my, uh, you know, website data, proper website data. So let me drag and drop some of the folders and uh, let's upload this. So it's basically a static uh, website. That means it includes HTML, CSS. And let's wait until it is updated. So it's uploading, uploading, uploading. All right, it's complete. I see a couple of errors, but anyways, let's see. And I have the index HTML and let's try to refresh it. So again, I see nothing because uh, there's this caching happened at uh, CloudFront. So let's run an invalidation so it will clear out all the cache. It's uh, in progress, but still again, if we reload it, now I see my website. So this is AWS Community Day Sri Lanka website. 
um, and we are going to host AWS serverless day in July so you guys if you visit this website now or maybe tomorrow you will see the updated day but there's an issue you know if we try to access it with HTTP I still see that error so let's go to the cloud from behavior and make sure that we redirect HTTP to HTTPS request and update that so it's deploying now if we even access with HTTP it automatically redirect to HTTPS so that's it guys this is what I want to show you